Welcome back to another episode of Reincarnate as a Sword. We are done with our first little dungeon. It wasn't really a little dungeon. We sold it. Technically, we sold it. Everybody else was kind of behind us. And then what does Donadron do? He lectures us for clearing it too easily. Why? Because I guess it gives some reality check, even though it's a fucking cat girl and a talking sword that's just soloing everything. We can't just simply run through the entire system and just get away with it, I guess. So we're getting lectured just a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. She's going to get her curry. And then back at the guild house, there's some there's some interesting thing going on because the sword Shisho is eating the the crystals right. Every time we destroy that the mana stone or the crystal, we gain magic powers. That's how he's been kind of farming in the beginning. That's a very very important resource. And the guild master goes, so where is it? And we're like, I don't know. Fran's a pretty good liar, I guess, and it kind of helps that we are a brand new adventurers. So I guess we could be like I, I don't know. We just happened to destroy it on just by accident. So it's like. Okay, but going forward now, it's got we gotta be pretty we gotta be pretty careful with this. And there's another guy at the very end who I I, I don't know, I already don't like him. He he seems like to be a douchebag. I think he's gonna be maybe I'm judging him too quickly, but based on how he was talking at the end towards us, I think everyone's gonna hate him. I hope we shit on him right on this episode. But let's begin today's episode. This guy, dude. This guy. Who is this dude? We are lying though. I, I can't lie. I mean, we, we are lying though. <laughs> oh, an ominous lightning. Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, you got some kind of special power that lets you detect that people are lying or not? It's, his eyes did like flash something when he pulled us. God, he's so gross. It's so ugly! Ah! What are those rose pep? August. Vice captain? He's vice captain? Fuck me. Disgusting. Why does he have to be vice captain? Ugh. Against adventurers. This guy is a fucking problem. I hope the captain's an actual good person, but the vice is drop dead. Drop dead, please. Ugh. I roast that you. Oh, wait. So you can tell lies. Yeah. But how can you prove that she is lying? Because, like, think about it. <laughs> the title of Vice Captain is annoying. But think about it. He says he can. Ha he has magic to detect lies. Okay. Sure. Let's believe that. But how do you prove that he's not lying? He could easily use this convenient power to say that people are lying, even though they might not be. How could other people validate that, right? Okay. But prove it yourself! I don't care about your power. How do you actually prove that you're not lying? A sense of falsehood. Makes their own lies more convincing and harder to discern. This guy, man. And then you rely on yourself. Dude. This dude. This dude. And everyone just believes him. Why does they have so much faith in this guy? Fucking Christ. Oh, this guy is the worst. It doesn't help that he looks so disgusting either. Like, uh. Guildmaster, come on, read through him. Even though we are technically lying. Oh? Why is that? Because she is completely new? She did, that's right! There's no way this guy could. I bet this guy couldn't even fight regular goblins. He is level 30 though. Okay, I, he's, he's not a pushover. Wow, he's actually defending us. This guy's sweat. Oh no, oh no. Good job, good job. Uh, so, are we being led to believe that the knights are all trashed then just because this guy's trash? I hope that's not the case. But maybe the noble knights are pretty trash. Mm. He hates adventurers. Why are you spraying your perfume here? Like, stop it! Ugh. How many times do you need to squirt that perfume in? Good job, Guildmaster. He's really standing up for us. Captain Urus. 
This guy, this guy. You really would risk the entire fucking town over this little squabble against adventures? Why does he hate the adventures so much? Oh, your father, of course, nepotism. That's how I got into power. Of course, of course. That's how a trash person like him is in a position of leadership. But why? So why does he hate the guild so much? Did he try to be an adventurer in the past and he got like kicked out or something? Or he got like gate kept because he sucks? What are we gonna do? Friend, but. Uh? What is. Goblin horns? Oh. Hey! I mean, it does look kind of gross, but hey, come on! Nothing, she's a child. Friend, kill him. Kill him right now. <laughs> no, we shouldn't kill him, but uh, yeah, let's fucking draw our sword and kill him. <laughs> yes, let's dunk on him! Yes! But if we do that, it's probably bad. But, yeah, it, that doesn't sound bad, actually. Let's go down in history. Let's become a fucking legend right now. Oh, steel skill? We're gonna steal his, like, detective lie skill? Nice! And if we do that, then we can confirm if he's lying or not, right? That's a lie. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, fuck him! Ew! She can't. He can't answer. <laughs> he can't. Why is this guy scratching his fucking pubes and picking his nose and snot comes out of its. Ugh, this guy. Why? Why did this shoot just. He's so gross! But I get it, they're trying to make him be very exaggerated gross. Yeah, I get it, but ugh. He's letting us go. More than E, come on. Straight to D, I feel like she should be like C or B. Too much, I guess. Good job. Good job. But it was too much of a jump, so we're in D. Gotcha. It's fine, it's fine. Our true rank is much higher, but it does go all the way to S. Okay. Aww. Court etiquette. So nice. <laughs> She's so cute. She is. Nell is like, you know, the audience. Us. Oh, everybody's watching in her deal. It's a big pouch of gold. Now, is anyone gonna start shit with us? Or no? They pretty much seen what happened last time. They tried to jump Fran within the guild HQ, right? So. We cut that guy's ankles off. Alright, oh, they also have the airwalk. Soloed it. Not really, because Shisha was there, but soloed it. Juice. No beer for her, but he has a juice. I don't think any of them are being lecherous, though. I think they all do sincerely care for Fran. That's good to see, because they were like, when we first got here, she was shunned immediately for being a black cat. That they couldn't evolve. They were all looking down on us. Not everybody, but. Oh! <laughs> Drink their own friend! <laughs> Damn! Good job, friend. That's that's how you sh that's how you should be doing things. That's right. That's right. No, no, no. friend. It's big hearted. It's a phrase, but it's cute that she doesn't understand. What's wrong with him right now? What's going on? <laughs> he fucking just. <laughs> oh what? Wait, what? What? Are these gods? Wait, I feel like these are really important people. Is this during the isekai moment how we turn into a sword? So this is probably when we just died, got transported into the isekai world, and then he became the sword somehow. I'm telling you, that sword has got to be some kind of legendary grade where they fused a, a living person into it. So it's better than a legendary sword. I do. My man, you take a shower. Someone else is still watching. Please kill him. I hope the guy who's watching us right now kills him. He looks pretty disheveled. He looks even worse. Yeah, who are you again? Oh, I'm sorry, the bias. <laughs> Wait, what? That easily, come on. I just hate how he's just always scratching himself. He just looks so gross. Uh, oh, oh, really? I must have the wrong person, the bye. <laughs> Fred is such a good liar. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, no shit. 
what other fucking black guy with the big sword is walking around here? <laughs> he's not wrong. I guess it is. Is it our fault? I think he started it first. I don't really care either. <laughs> Says you. Here we go with the fucking dirty black cat. This discrimination against the black cats. Who is this guy? Kill him, please. Kill him. Please, just. Another cat looking thing. But it's not like a humanoid. So the vice hired this cat thing? Alright, it looks, it looks like he did. A blue cat. Right, we're learning more about the cat races. Enemies of the black cats. She looks pretty pissed. But we're stronger than ever now. Alright, let's fight! Wait, what? What's this? Huh? A whip? Jesus. Elf looking girl, right? Like pointy ears. And she's headed for our village? Maybe new friends soon. Alright, that's another episode. I'm glad that the vice captain in the span of one episode has just fallen to the fucking lowest of the low. Not that he was already at a high place, but I'm glad that he's fucking getting what he deserves. Then again, we did steal his ability and it is kind of our fault and we did lie. So technically what he's saying is correct, but he started it first. He started it first. But hey, if you stick around this song, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.